hello guys welcome to my next tutorial that uh, we are going to design one mcc channel okay let's see what is mcc channel mcc channel is nothing but motor control circuit motor control center motor control center okay here we are going to control motor one and motor two uh, using a dual starter okay here two hp motor uh, circuits are there two motors we are going to control and uh, let's understand this here we are using one of the uh, module that is a multifunctional module okay multifunctional module mf it is called as a mff mfm okay multi function model okay this is a multifunction model now whenever we are going to taking any input okay any input we are taking first of all we should have one main mccb okay mccb is called as a molded case case circuit breaker okay its capacity will be maximum that you can see here 125 ampere we are taking okay and uh, next thing is that whenever we are taking it like from here to here we are getting the supply to mfm we are taking three current transformers that is 100 amp if it is measuring at uh, this coil so it gives the output as 5 ampere okay 2.4 2.5 va so it is nothing but a current transformer okay all three phase current we are going to monitor and uh, given to mfm panel and three phase we have to take and give it to mfm okay if we see the control panels we can see the main uh, power indicators main power indicators for red phase y phase and b phase three indicating lamps we are using and uh, for them also we can have one mccb whether if any uh, maintenance is need to be carried out uh, in mfm panel we can remove the uh, uh, supply we can repair okay if anything goes wrong at this side at the supply side then this mccb will trip and to operate this mfm panel we need to operate this mfm panel we need external that we can call it as an auxiliary power supply if we check here this is auxiliary supply we are using from here we have taken three phase okay three phase we have taken and from this our circuit is starting okay now you can see here first thing we have taken three phase and given to mccb because uh, in any uh, fault occurs at this side at this side if any fault occurs then this circuit breaker will trip or else if this motor is faulty wherever it uh, this mccb will trip okay 9 ampere v is sufficient for this uh, motor circuit so next thing is that this is the main contactor k1 contacts okay and to the operate this we are going to use this circuit you can see here no start button is there stop button is there okay and uh, k1 this is a latching we are uh, we have connected parallel to the start button and this is a k1 coil contactor coil if you check any of the contactor it will be having a uh, coil terminal as a named named as a a1 and a2 okay and here also to for this control circuit this we are going to call it as a control circuit okay this we can call it as a power circuit okay now if you think if you just check uh, if uh, this circuit breaker is closed and if we press this start button this will be closed okay 
so power will flow from here and returns to neutral okay now what happen this contactor k1 will be energized the same address uh, same not the same is auxiliary contact we are using uh, across or parallel to this start button push button 2 push button 1 is our stop push button okay push button to is our stop uh, sorry uh, start push button and uh, one more k1 we are taking to indicate that uh, here this should not be r r r okay this is for motor on motor on indicating lamp and this is for motor off okay whenever motor is off this coil is not energized k1 so we if we take a normally closed contact then it will remain normally closed only so it provides the supply to this motor off so these are the indicating lamps to show the status of motor is in on or off state and one more if any uh, in uncertain condition if any fault occurs in the motor okay like a earth fault okay like a short circuit short circuit fault okay like any fault occurs then we have connected one uh, uh, overload relay one to this uh, in bit into the power circuit so this is providing the supply to motor now just consider if any fault occurs in in this olr this olr will be also having uh, normally open and normally closed contacts so one of the normally closed contacts we are uh, using in series with this circuit in control circuit okay one open uh, contact we are using to this power indicator so whenever this olr operates okay operates so it this circuit will be closed this contact will be closed so it indicates that this means fault occurs fault or overload occurs <coughs> overload occurs and this lamp will goes on and if uh, OLR operates then this uh, uh, normally open contact will get open okay so it stops the motor okay it stops the motor now if this coil is de-energized so this uh, normally open contact will come to its normal position that is normally open in on state it will be closed okay in off state this will be open okay in off state this will be closed in off state this will be open now once the overload relay operates then uh, uh, it turns off the motor okay this coil will get de-energized and this k1 will be turned off okay and this circuit will be broken like uh, and this k1 and this k1 will come to its original position by showing that motor is off and overload operated okay the same uh, circuit we are duplicate duplicated here and place here if we want to draw this circuit in uh, autocad electrical uh, these most of the things most of the components are already available now if we check here here one more circuit with the same configuration is available and this is a 9 ampere mccb again we are using to protect the motor uh, and uh, nine ampere contact contacts are there and uh, one more overload relay this is overload relay two okay now if we check here if, uh, to this motor also if overload occurs 
this will turns off this will be turned off and the motor will be stopped and if it is a press start button is pressed this uh, circuit will be closed and it energizes the k2 if k2 is energized then all k2 terminals will change its states that this will be closed this will be open and this will be this will be closed and again this will be open okay in case of overload relay overload condition if this relay operates then this will be closed and this will be open okay if this opens it stops the motor okay if this is closed then it shows that what this overload of overload occurred okay overload occurred so in, uh, in next tutorial video i'll show how to draw the diagram in autocad using the present symbol most of the things are present in the sense we can take them directly and place in the circuit and we can develop the diagram okay friends thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever i am going to upload a new video you will be notified first thank you thank you for watching